Over the years, Nebraska, the Cornhusker State, has been an amazing place for us to turkey hunt. Why not kick it off right here again for 2017 in Nebraska? Double, baby. Got it done in Nebraska. <laughs> hey, look what a poke that is, buddy. <laughs> First day in Nebraska, baby. Same spot, Philip Double. You stay tuned for a little twang and bang action, lynch mob style. Turkey hunting celebration. Five y'all. Give me some, brother. Hey, turkey hunting celebration once again. Smoking two old sad daddies. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect, but we're going down to hunt with Brady Rasmussen, who owns and operates Country Strut Outfits. Once again, it's gonna be the old bull against the young bulls. May 15th, right here in Nebraska, doing a little late season hunting. We're over in Arnold and got it done. We all killed one and then walked up with our good buddy Brady and Grant over here in Loop City. They got turkeys everywhere. Well, that first afternoon, Brady puts me with Grant. Well, good afternoon right here, Nebraska, the Cornhusker State. It's the old bull against the young bulls that I'm ganged up on now. They got <laughs> shotguns. I'm hunting with the elite and with a decap to get him at five yards to shoot his head off. <laughs> and all I can say is look out. Because if I take one's head off tonight, hey, not only is dinner and everything on you, the motel and gas. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. By the way, how old is that face mask? Don't worry, buddy, I got you covered this year. I'm working a little magic on the lynch mob calls. Here comes old Henny Penny right on into the decoys. Talk about <laughs> a cranky old hen. Or should I say a cranky old boss hen? Pretty soon, we see an old sad daddy longbeard come in from behind us back there. He's taking his time, but pretty soon, Old Grant peeks out there and says, here he comes. Right, perfect, right in to Letitia and Bubby Jake. Yeah. 
he's right in there. He's standing right over Pookie Poo. I manage to get the bow back, just take my time, ease it back, get everything settled in. And I mean, the slice and dice is about to happen. Oh, <laughs> damn, baby. Man, when it happened, I don't know who was the most surprised, me or Grant. <laughs> That's what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. Elite style, baby. The solid decap, we just decapitated him. Thank you, Lord. Brady. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And I hear that train coming. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Who said that? Well, boys, the old bull is on the board. Oh, look at this. There's his head, and there's old sad daddy right there. <laughs> All I can say is, what a moment. <laughs> well, I bet we got a big old two year old, and we do. <laughs> old sad daddy. Yeah. When I say decapitated, he's decapitated. I don't mean to gross you out, but I'm telling you that's, if you want the hunt of hunts and fun and an adrenaline rush, it won't quit. That is it. But it's probably the most humane thing that you can do. In Nebraska, I gotta say a special thanks once again to Hidden Valley Outfitters at Corey and Dan's. And then we meet up here with Brady and, and Grant down here at their place here on our way back. Stop in, it's, it, it's unbelievable. But it's all in the same area. You guys got it going on, bud. Thanks for no, no hanging problem. with me, man. He just, he got to watch all the action. Hopefully all the cameras caught the action. It's unreal. <laughs> Golly. Man, what an evening, huh? Yeah. What a gobbler. Beautiful. Beautiful hunt. Grant, my friend, I really appreciate you, buddy. You were a lot of help setting everything up there with me and stuff. And just being a part of that and sharing that with you was worth everything. It was incredible, buddy. Thank you. Looks like old Brandon's up to bat next, right? We got some birds working now. It's hard to tell these Merriam sometimes if they're jakes or longbeards, they all sound the same. So they're working this way. We'll, I guess we'll find out when they get here what they are, but hopefully it's sad daddy longbeard. I see their heads. 12 o'clock out of the course. Yep, that's how split down. Old Brandon making some turkey talk now. Not one, not two, not three, but four long beards coming in. Hey, and guess who's got two tags burning a hole in his pocket?
cute. <laughs> Cliff, you on it? Click. <laughs> He gets a shell out. He manages to get a dead gum shell loaded back in the shotgun, and boom, down goes the second one. Double, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Double right here in Nebraska. I'm tagged out. <laughs> Middle of it, Clint goes, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a daily double. Is that a two-year-old too? That's old split tail. Uh-huh. Hey, mine had a split tail too, buddy. Only Brandy man. <laughs> it's been an awesome time here in Nebraska. I tell you what, these are what, Rio, Marion mix kind of? Yeah. They get a lot of mix up here. And they have a ton of birds. And we've been on birds every day. I shot. I was like, ching ching. I was like, oh yeah, my gun's broke. Started fumbling for another shell. They didn't take off very fast. Hey, young bulls three, old bull one. <laughs> You know, the only bad part of that hunt, guys, is that I wasn't there to be a part of it and enjoy it with you. Well, if I wasn't thoroughly convinced on the Hex technology by Game Hide, well, let me just say I am now. Because on that Florida hunt, I was totally wide open. And that gobbler was in front of me at about 12 to 14 steps for 15, 20 minutes before I decided to let old Bella eat. Go to GameHide.com and check it out. Well, I'm tagged out. Brandon's tagged out. Clint, I guess you're the only one with one tag left. Just got out here, sitting on a cut cornfield. And we got one rocket right here down below us. Probably 100, 150 yards. Maybe not even that. Now you wouldn't think that there would be a, a gobbler within 40 miles of here. I don't know whether they're hunting the neighbor's junkyard or they call him the junkyard dog or, hey, the wagon wheel gobbler, but he was definitely calling this place home. He's coming, dude, he's coming. It's on, boys. Now, y'all, this is an early morning textbook hunt, and old Sad Daddy Longbeard marches right on in. Did you have him tied up? Or are you pulling him in on a string or what? Out, baby. Brady, Judd, man, I think these boys owe you big time. Dude, he freaking screamed the whole way. <laughs> oh, little lynch mob duet this morning. And the cowboy rides away. <laughs> Woo! Brandon's Mossberg. Thank you, buddy. Oh, oh, good job. That was fun. Oh, Brady, thank you, man. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. Four of us out here sharing a good turkey hunt. Who these hooks, Brandon? Philip, young bull's back on the board, buddy. I know you a bow hunter, but it's hard to beat them shotgun hunts. Sucker flew out in the field while I was putting the decoys out. Once he saw him, it was over. He come bouncing in, dancing. Beautiful bird, man. Talk about fun. That's what it's about, boys. Hey, sorry, lady. Hey, you're gonna have to find a new boyfriend. 
He done. Lights out, baby. So slow down, small town. Don't let those city lights burn you to the ground. And let me have my run around out on those old back roads. This is one of the main reasons why I hunt and why I live and love what I do is the camaraderie, the hunt camp, just having fun. That's what turkey hunting is really all about. Well, I got all kinds of dirt in my mouth. I've never been where I could kill two in the same day. Well, I have, but I've never done it. That's awesome. What about two in 10 seconds? Two in 10 seconds. Well, it would have been 10 seconds. From hay, that's two jakes to hay, that's four long. Give me back my fishing hole. We want to say a special thank you to Country Strut Outfitters there Brady Rasmussen, Judd Grant, and the whole family down there. Y'all are truly a class act, and thank you for sharing with the virtue.